So as mentioned in previous vlogs, lots of children come to school and they're able to count, which is fantastic. But the other thing we need to work on is touch counting. So I've got some bears here and it's really important that we go one, two, three, four, five. I've got five bears because the children often know the numbers, but they don't associate what it means. Like that is one bear and they're five so that they're able to physically see the objects and count them as well. That's really important for us in primary one. Now, I've got lovely bears here. You don't need to use bears. When you're walking to and from school, you might go upstairs. You can count them. You could use sticks, leaves, anything you've got at home. They can count their toys, count cutlery, maybe not knives, um, and different things like that. You've got so many different opportunities within your home and outside as well. So feel free to use anything that you can find. The other thing that we do in primary one is we make a mount. So I've got some buttons here. Buttons on a school shirt, great thing to count. So rather than just counting them along, I've got six, we ask the children to move them into different groups. So some might be able just to split them off, or one goes over here, one goes over there, another one over here, another one over there, another one here, and another one there. Now the next skill that's involved with this is holding a number in your head. So you go one, two, three, I'm holding three in my head, and then I'm able to count on, so three, next is four, five, six. Now that's a really important skill and it needs a lot of practice and again and again and again. So hopefully these help and we'll see you next time. Thank you.